All right, we are back. And all right, yeah, the server with that uh, <clears throat> with that lady with a very interesting fashion choice, lady soldier. Didn't get a chance to talk to. This is where we fought a giant pigeon, I think. No, somewhere similar. Uh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go there and see what the hell that is about, so I don't have to come here later. And then we'll go to the bridge. Herbalist. What? Ooh, that is a lot of plants. You don't need this. Paying, uh, you're paying witcher tax. It's a tax for me passing by your house. Take advantage of uh, people collecting everything for me. Inter interesting tree. Yeah. All right. you have for me greetings is it herbs you seek medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go that it no other weeds or brews i one to make your hair grow another to do the opposite an easer of pain a calmer of heartburn tell me what ails you did he literally just offer some medicine to make a maiden more susceptible to things? Is that what he said? A bashful... Something about a bashful maiden be less... Problem... Like, less resistant? That's, uh... That's a little iffy. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. I was kind of thinking of trying some other, um... Other, uh... Leader, but I haven't really made any. So what are, what are each of these special powers? They start with an additional kind uh, card in their hand, I think. Isn't that bad? They get to keep a random card on the field. Pick any weather card from your deck and play it instantly. I thought he had like some sort of army boost. And. They get to check three random... Oh no wait, it says right there, okay. Draw a card from a deck whenever you win a round. You decide who goes first at the start of a battle, okay. One randomly chosen monster card unit stays in the battlefield after each round. Win whenever there is a draw. Well, that doesn't come up often. Also, this is a very good... This is a very good uh, effect. Just is very good. Getting a card when you win. I do have Biting Frost in. Um, let's remove it for the time being. Well, clog the deck up too much. a sideboard card.
All right, swap these out. Ah, that's good. Oh, Archer. That means we are not going Archer. Then. Besides this one, of course. I meant this guy. Yeah. No more. Only that one. Might be way too overkill here to play that card. This doesn't hit strong here. Ah, really? That's unfortunate. If they were at 22, you could have just used the fog to bring this one down. But if I do it now, it's just gonna be even. That's that's a waste. Um, I was kind of hoping not to play any of these uh, siege units because I wanted to buff it with the horn. Sucks. Ah, fine. Ah. Send this guy. Okay. Paid out. Paid off, I mean. Now my horn is pretty uh, pretty strong on both of these fields. So if I just outlast my opponent in terms of cards until I run them out, you know they don't have a weather effect. Okay, well that that tells me where I'll put my horn. <laughs> that just sounds awful. <laughs> Use my horn card. <laughs> I'm thinking about, uh, let me use this. I only have one. Oh. I'm thinking about where I should use my decoy. On the scout or on the dragon? Seems like dragon it is. Wait, they were same name cards? Wow, I didn't notice. Good. Unless that last card is extremely devastating. Wait, 
but good. What we get? We got Immelrith. Really? From this dude? Well, that's a pretty good card. Well, hey thank there. you, sir. Do you think we get more cards if we keep playing? I've never tried to play versus the same opponent twice. Let's do that. I'm gonna save because I don't wanna mess up the same file I just got in with. Hey there. Let's try again. Just for the sake of trying. For science. Yearning to play a few. It's not the most exciting opponent to play twice, but I just wanna see. Do I keep getting cards if I keep winning? Wow, alright. That's a pretty good opener. A very good one. Let's remove this. Okay. I didn't see any creeping for us in his hand. Or I didn't see any creeping for us being played earlier, so let's just go for the win here. To use these and then use the fog effect so I don't draw it. Those are out of range for being from the dragon currently. They do have a clear weather effect. Uh, let's see. Let's make them have it. Advantage with the dragons, card advantage with the dragon. And my draw, and this, <laughs> so plenty of card advantage. Me first. That's good. Gives me a target. back though if I had used a dragon on turn on the first round would have been something Not a good card to bring back, but they only have two cards left. If one of them yeah, is a uh, melee. Ah, oh, shit, this is only nine? Alright. Might as well. Well, that's just beneficial for me. Alright. I should have actually pulled this card out. I don't know why I pulled the dragon. 
nothing they ever play would ever qualify to be destroyed by the dragon anyways. So playing this and just bringing out one more damage would have been the right choice. Either way, I win. Okay, do I get more cards? No, you just get stuff. Okay. Hey there. What do you got? Let me have a look. Oh, these are all master, I mean, uh, witcher potions. That's good. Um, let's talk to him about the other stuff here. Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Let me just really check. I mean, really quickly so check. Long. Alchemy. Got some new stuff in here. White gold. It's Mandrake Cordial. Or however you pronounce that. Always a pain in my ass. Lesser Red Mutagen. Ancient Leshen Mutagen. Arakas Mutagen. Okay, it's a lot of mutagens missing here. Means we need to go on uh, some hunts. Cockatrice Stomach. Might want to buy some Arenaria. Some special stuff, some special stuff. Bear fat. Some special stuff. Albedo. Um, um, okay, so I need one of those. And this one. Whenever you slay an enemy, time slows for a short period. Let's just make all of it. Increase maximum vitality. Clears toxicity and cancels all active potion effects. That's useful. Immediately restores a large portion of vitality. Oh. Don't have what I need for that. Arakas Venom. Alright. Good to know. Hey there. So most of what I'm missing is actually like, I mean, special look. ingredients from uh, monsters then. This is cheap, I'll buy this. It's not... Uh... This guy doesn't have any of it. Alright, can I sell like junk or something? No, this is like, quote-unquote, valuable junk. Potentially valuable junk. Alright, well. So long. I spent more money than I... Uh, spent more money than I earned from walking in there, but... No, I took, took a manual save. Crap. Uh, delete. No more than three. No more than three. But we did get an, a good uh, Gwent card, and uh, we did win twice, so. I'd say overall, we came That's out with more than uh, what we lost. The Witcher. Oh, step over here. Hey there. Want me to step over here? 
You post the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? Sure. What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got rid of it to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks. And I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes. Yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatches cows and the like. Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? Let's talk about the reward. About how it's just not enough right now. <laughs> I'll squeeze him, you know. A bit too much, mate. But just a bit. We might still strike a deal. A bit too really? much, mate. But just a bit. We might still strike a deal. You don't price, uh, pray, price your friend's uh, honor and a stuff bit very too much, highly. Mate. But just a bit. We might still strike a deal. Just a bit has a very different meaning here. I'd have gone to hunt the beast myself if I'd known you wanted this much. Hard luck. So be it. All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. All right. I didn't know there was a monster situation going on here, but all right. Wait. Oh. Level 35. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Sorry. Uh, you guys have to wait quite a long time until your friend, uh, friends are avenged. Because uh, I ain't touching a level uh, 35 monster. I'll save though. Because uh, I'm not going to come here and haggle again. <laughs> come on, Roach. Let's uh, take uh, a curved route <laughs> around this level 35 monster. Alright, let's deal with this. This is where we fought the Leshen, I think. Where's the other one? Die. I wasn't going to fight this, but then I realized this was very far to so I'm like, let's go see if there's another one. I saw something red up here. I saw you. Just wolves. And none of them dropped anything. Oh no, never mind. Auto pick up. It's another one? <laughs> sure you can his ass to death. Let's go. What's 
What's that over here? Oh, bandits. Did it just ignite the bushes? Or turn off the bushes? Oh no, there's a fireplace here. Alright, here we are. Save. Let's pop some nonsense here. No, the thing is here. in here. That stench. Ripe cheese. Seems Aramis was a tyromancer. Okay. I was a little bit creepy walking up to all these uh, statues. Some light going. Oops, I didn't mean to fall down like this. No way up. Okay. Alright, so we have to navigate our way through all of this. I see around there. Let's take it. Not explosive gas. Oh, these are all cheeses. <laughs> so that's why it smelled like cheese. All this poisonous gas is cheese? <laughs> oh my god. It what is. did he make this cheese out of? Necker milk? Need to be careful. <laughs> the stinkiest of cheese. Get a kick out of this when I tell him. Not sure this can get any worse. I'm sure it could get worse. Try to taste it. I think that was it. We got some skill points. Is it more cheeses? Entirely empty. <laughs> I have a feeling something is gonna pop out and bite me. No, nothing. Two routes here. Let's check out this one. How you usually climb? Um, sure. No, I can't see anything.
This leads us back to the beginning. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right then. What's a like drum being hit in the background? Climb up right now. All right. Wait, I can't get up. I have to go back. Ugh. Come on. Come on. You can do this, Geralt. Get up here. What up here? What a potato, man. Oh, here maybe? Oh, nice. Not quite a potato. Just a little bit. Anything behind here? Shared this discovery with oh. Lambert. Hobbits are immune to the smell of old cheese. <laughs> A lot of them. It's kind of hard. He's inhaling cheese. He's dead from inhaling cheese. All right. That seems like a disgusting way to go. Bold figurine. Can I read this? I mean, steal all this cheese? I have to find some poor person to sell all this uh, cheese to. I'm not picking this up and walking around with it. The ultimate cock block for Geralt. We can't have that. Let's see. Got a new uh, recipe. Oh. Well, I mean, we did. We can't make it. Some kind of vault. I should look around. The ultimate cheese secret. Magic barrier still active. Gotta find a way to turn it off. Uh, punching it did not help. Okay. On the opposite side, maybe? Nahalini's eye. Ought to use it. Interact with it? No. I shoot fire at it. Deactivated the barrier. Really? That was it? What if I do this? I'm gonna save. Things like this usually bug out or glitch out. 
This sword is as deadly as Aramus's cheeses. It's worth taking. <laughs> Maybe I'll name it the Emmentaler. All right, the deadly cheese sword, the cheese cutter. That's what we'll name it. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at the cheese cutter. This is a very low level. Uh... It's not that. This is a very low level. Uh... Oh, it's actually not that bad. I was gonna say this is a low level quest. It probably doesn't have a good reward, but 22 to 50? It's 25 to 53. Yeah, I would have used this if I didn't recently swap my sword to the lady sword. Oh. Pretty good, uh. Pretty good loot for this level. Oh, fresh air, finally. Out of the cheesy air. Well, that was an adventure. That was a cheese and a half. So. Wow, there was a marker here that I missed. Take it easy. Looks great. Anyways, that's it for this episode. In the next one, I will go here. Actually, I'll just teleport right now. <laughs> so that I'm ready. So I don't forget about it. Slow. Yeah, in the next one, we continue with the story. And uh, see what happens. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.